There were signs of hope yesterday after an early trial of a potential coronavirus vaccine had really promising results. Everybody's very excited. But then, you know who turned the good mood into really shock after announcing that he's going a whole different route? Take a look. I'm, I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. When? Right uh, now, yeah. yeah when... A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, I'll tell you right, I'm not going to get hurt by it. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Well, it did seem like everybody's mouth had dropped open because experts seem to be warning against just taking it because of potentially <laughs> deadly side effects. But just this morning, his press secretary backed him up with this claim. Now, Joy, do you believe he's taken hydroxychloroquine? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can't I pronounce can't it. I've tried this. all morning. I just, hydrochloroquine. Yes, yeah. hydrochloroquine. Um, so do you believe right. he's taken I, it? I can't believe, no, I can't believe it. I now he comes up with this. You know, here's the thing. He says he's been on this thing for two and a half weeks or something. But when you read the side effects, psychosis, paranoia, hair loss, I think he's been on it for three and a half years. <laughs> no, seriously? Seriously, yeah. I think that he's lying. Yeah. He lies about everything. You know, so I think he's lying. Right. He's distracting from Pompeo and the IG scandal. He's, Joe Biden is kicking right. his butt in the polls. Uh, he's losing senior citizen votes all over the place. Even in swing states like Arizona might be turning blue. Uh, his attacks on Obama are going nowhere. He will distract you anything that makes him look bad. And this... This all this stuff that's going on right now makes him look bad, and that's why he's doing this. Right. That is my opinion. So, even conservative media outlets that are usually, you know, sort of staunchly by his side, are sounding alarm bells. Is it responsible for him to be, you know, taking it even with the risk, Sonny? Is this a smart move? I, I don't think it's a smart move. And regardless of whether or not you uh, believe in the job that he's doing, he's still the president of the United States. And because uh, at his weight, you know, he is obese um, under the guidelines, because of his age group, he's, I believe, 73, um, there are a lot of side effects here. And, and I don't understand why, if he tested negative over and over again for the coronavirus, why he would be taking this medication. There are no, there's no indication that it would prevent you getting the coronavirus. It has, there have been some studies saying right. that you can treat coronavirus with it, although those studies haven't been effective. The other thing is, what about the people now that will rush out to buy that medication or try to attain that medication because the president said he is taking it? What about the people that really need it that suffer from, let's say, lupus? Now there'll be a shortage. So that also indicates that it just isn't smart for him to advertise that he is taking it. And I kind of agree with Joy. He's been really, really careful to hide his income taxes, not to give uh, you know the, the results of his physical examinations, not to provide his medical records. Right. Why is all of a sudden he's being so transparent about taking this drug? Something right. doesn't seem right to me. Well, he... Right. Well, he's made this announcement mm -hmm. out of the blue. And what did you think when you heard it, Megan? I mean, when he first said it, I was watching it live and I was shocked, I think, like everybody else, because um, this isn't a proven medication and this comes off the heels of the pharmaceutical company Moderna talking about yesterday how they actually have really promising results with some of their uh, initial trials for a vaccine. So for me, it would have been more prudent to highlight the Moderna, you know, vaccine results that they're working on because that seems to be the most promising. Um, I said to my producers earlier, and I think all of you know, when I was watching it, now I'm a, I'm a you know, capable woman, I'm not drinking bleach, I'm not doing anything the president told me to, but there was a moment in my brain where I was like, is it working? Is hydro, whatever you say, chloroquine, is it working? Because at this point, I am so desperate to be able to do anything outside of my home. I would do a lot of things to get outside <laughs> my home. I would inject something. I mean, I'm 
pregnant, so I, you know, I probably wouldn't. But <laughs> if I weren't, if someone yeah. said, "Hey, Megan, you're gonna oh have this God. job, but you're gonna lose all your hair, but you get to go outside and see your friends and go swimming and go exercise and do all these things," I might do it because we're going on three months. Stop laughing, Joy. You know it's true. But we're going on three months of quarantine, <laughs> Megan, and now stop. we're going on six stop. months more. So I, I'm not a. I know I sound crazy, but I. What what Sonny's saying is true. He's still the president. And if I had a moment where I was like, wait, is that working? Then a lot of other people are as well. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. Well, that's... Yeah. But didn't, yeah. he, didn't well, he say that the... Yes, I mean, it's ridiculous. But... <laughs> I'm desperate. Well, I, you know, all around the world, all around the world, this is happening. You know, people are saying, well, it's nothing, it's nothing. A lot of people in charge. But I think people are starting to say, well, I'm looking at my aunt and she's sick. And, you know, mm -hmm. I've talked to kids, man. They want to get out, too. You know, everybody wants out. But no one wants to be sick. So we'll, we'll get there. We just got to do it the right way. We'll